guys can tell by today's title, we're doing a vlog. So I'm gonna be bringing you guys along for the rest of the day. It's currently 1.36. I've been up since 10 a.m., but I haven't like been recording what I've been doing for the whole day because I've simply been at my desk um, editing, filming. Well, not filming, but I've been currently at my desk editing videos, you know, for my gaming channel, getting things ready for my Twitch shit like that if you're not subscribed to my gaming channel i have a link down below in the description box and if you're not subscribed to my twitch i also have that link down below as well but make sure you guys go ahead and follow me on my gaming channel because that's where i post gaming content if you're into like sims gta stuff like that for those crowd of people who like stuff like that you guys can check it out and i'm pretty funny and i'm pretty entertaining so mm, go check it out babes period but I got a new camera. I don't know if you guys watched in my last vlog when I was hanging out with Warren. I bought a new camera from Best Buy that day. And it is finally here. It only took like two days to come because I think I ordered it on Friday and it's Tuesday. So it really technically only took a day to get here because of the weekend. But today I have a lash appointment. It's Tuesday. Tomorrow's my friend's birthday. And today we're like pre-gaming for her birthday. We've pretty much been pre-gaming for her birthday the whole week. This whole week, basically. So tonight we're going to Zari to celebrate her birthday. So I'm gonna do like a little get ready with me in this vlog, all types of stuff. I do have a lash appointment that I'm trying to decide if I really wanna to go to or not because I just hate the amount of money that I be spending on lashes. Like it kind of adds up after a while and bitch, it's kind of a dick thing. But we have a lot of updates um, to cover in this vlog. Starting with the new camera, I'm relaunching my business. I have generally most of the products for my business here. I'm gonna give you guys like a little haul. And a few, uh, two more items for my business came today. We have new bonnets, we brought the wig bands back. We have all new jewelry. So, I'm really excited for that. Now that I notice, I'm actually missing like two items left for my business. So I don't know, we'll see when they come. But it comes pretty packaged and sealed, these air bubbles. And I also have to do a lot of cleaning. This is the camera that I got. I have a Sony, well, I have, uh. so this is the camera that I got. It's a Sony, and the camera that I'm using is a Sony ZV-1 in case any of you guys are wondering. And this is a Sony um, 6100. Uh, 60 to 50 mm, whatever. I'm not really like into tech too much. I just know that this is a good camera, and I know that Sony is one of the best camera brands for me personally when it comes to vlogging and creating content for YouTube. I personally don't like Canon because I just feel like the quality is just not as good. And yeah, I had one Canon camera, and it like literally. I could literally show you. Hold on, let's go get it. This right here was my first ever camera. And look at it, it's like broken. This is what the Canon ended up doing. Like, And mind you, I barely dropped it or anything like that, so it's not like whatever. And then my second camera that I ended up investing into was this vlogging camera that I'm using now, which is a Sony ZV-1, which is not bad. I do recommend it if you are a beginner, you know, getting into creating content. It's a really good, simple, easy camera to use, but I felt it was time for an upgrade because I've had the Sony ZV-1 literally three times or two times already. I had this camera like two times or three times already because I lost one in Miami. Yeah, so I think this is like my second camera type shit, and I had it for a while now. So I'm like, it's time to, you know, upgrade, go a little bigger, go a little better. I am gonna buy like an extra lens for this eventually. But this is the camera, she is so cute. It's almost like, well, not saying Sony copied Canon, can, but this is like a Canon on crack, like, be for real. This is so freaking cute. Look how clean it looks and brand new. We're gonna try to keep her brand new because the camera I have right now, baby, baby. Oh, it has a little thing for the lens. Oh my God, you're so cute. Oh my God. We have to put an SD card in her so we can see the quality. 
So it comes with a camera strap. I'm definitely gonna be using that. It comes with a charger, a little plug-in, and a battery pack. I think the first thing we're gonna have to do is definitely plug in the battery. This battery is definitely um, fatter than the one that I use for my Sony ZV-1. So the batteries are different. And one thing I do have to say about the battery on this type of camera, it, what, it the, the only thing, I, the battery on this type of camera lasts way longer than the camera that I'm using now. Like, this camera just dies super fast. I'm gonna go get an SD card for this and we're gonna test out the quality, so I'll be right back. You guys are watching me on the new quality. My old camera, as you guys can see, there's like so much dirt around it. That's because I had an added lens and I would like super glue it. Well, the quality to this camera is really good. This is a Sony ZV-1 and this is a Canon G7X. But I will have to say the camera that I'm on now, this is like the best quality I've ever seen. It naturally kind of blurs the background. It just gives very cinematic type of vibes. But I went ahead and I changed my outfit. This is my little fit for the day. I'm about to go get my lashes done at 2.45 is my appointment. It's currently 2.14. I do come back from my lash appointment. My plan is to do my hair. Like I said, it is my friend's birthday in less than like 10 hours. Oh, I also wanted to go get her like some flowers. So when we go to the club, this is the wig that I'm going to put on because the wig that I have on right now, baby, it's time to go. And these are one of my bonnets from my collection. This is what it looks like in the back. Period. We got a new logo. I don't know if you guys can see that clearly, but I'm going to show you guys all my new business products later on in the vlog. So just stay tuned for that. But this is the hair that I'm installing today. She is from Arabella Hair. It's a peekaboo type of vibe. As for going to the club, I don't know what I'm going to be wearing as of yet. Daily Cleo check-in. <laughs> At this little desk all day. Just in my bag, period. Make sure y'all like the video. Make sure y'all subscribe if you haven't already. Hey, watch them as too, baby, if you're a real supporter, period. Just dropped a lot of money on this damn camera. I'm gonna talk to y'all when I'm going to my lash appointment. Currently, 228. My lash appointment is at 245, so hopefully I make it on time. I might be happy, but hopefully that's not a problem. But, I literally fell asleep during my appointment and I forgot to record do my hair. Period. Anyway, we're gonna do our get ready with me and I'm gonna come along with me for the rest of the day. So it's 5 15 right now. Well, I still gotta get my girlfriend. Ooh, I said girlfriend, not too much. Well, yeah, she's my girlfriend. She's my friend. I still gotta get Kiana flowers. A few moments later. I'm currently home. The time right now is 6. 21 it was hella traffic like it has literally taken me an hour to get home from my last appointment because it was just so much freaking traffic because it's raining and it's like five something by the time i got an uber so you know that motherfucking rush hour was kicking in doing my hair uh we don't go to zari until like 12 30. we're gonna start this to get ready with me to go to the club for my homegirl's birthday i'm gonna do my hair my lashes are now done the only thing left to do is find an outfit maybe makeup and for feeling that extra shower etc all that stuff and eat actually yeah i need to eat because baby i only have them chips that i showed y'all earlier and it's six in the afternoon damn near night time and I have eight. So we need to eat because my stomach is in my fucking bag. I'm going to charge my camera. And then we're going to start getting ready.
Okay guys, so I got my food so I can fill up on some food before starting to drink. I just got a regular bowl that I always get from Chipotle and I got me a tortilla and I'm gonna eat this while I wait for my hair to get laid or whatever, period, the double C wig bands. I am finna eat this food. Let me show y'all what it looks like. This is my Chipotle right here. Got the burrito over there, water. How would I do? I'm currently on the phone with Kiana right now. She can't hear me, it's muted. I'm finna eat my food and get back to y'all. <sighs> I'm finally done with my hair. It's currently 9-11 right now. I really gotta fix the focus settings on this camera because baby. Whew. Okay, let me show you the hair. Show the girlies the hair. This is her. Period. Period. She's giving. You see the little peekaboo action? Period. This hair is from Arabella Hair. So make sure y'all go check them out. You know, the little peekaboo in the back. Oh, what the fuck? Let me show y'all with the ring light and better. I feel like my wigs could be flatter. This is what my hair is looking like. I did a bust down middle part. You can never go wrong with that bust down middle. I'm about to go ahead and pick out an outfit to wear right now. So yeah, let's go do that. Because literally right after I pick out an outfit, I'm gonna head over to Kiana's apartment. I just went ahead and ordered her a bouquet of flowers and balloons. So when she enters the club, she can feel like a bad bitch, period. All right, I was, about to, I was about to go into my room to go into the closet. I don't think I'm gonna be doing my makeup because, baby, it's not my birthday. It's my homegirl's birthday. So, makeup just really ain't that necessary. Now, I don't know what I wanna wear. I'm not wearing a dress because, feel me, I wanna be able to shake that ass on my homegirl, period. So, I think I'm gonna just dig in this pile of clothes that I have. But I'm gonna put y'all right here while I dig through these clothes. Man. Think of something to wear. I low key might do. Hmm. These are some shorts. I was thinking about wearing like one of these tops that I brought from back home. Because when I went back home, I brought a lot of the clothes that I left there back with me but now that i have even more clothes it's like i still feel like i don't have any clothes but i have a lot of clothes but it's like you know i'm gonna do a video where let me know if you guys want to see this in the comments for those of you who made it this far let me know if you guys want to see like a video where i try to style everything in my closet like actually like turn all the clothes into my closet into actual outfits but Damn, I really don't know what I want to wear. I think I'm gonna wear this top from Pretty Little Thing. I wore this, I haven't worn this in so long. I haven't worn this since Miami Spring Break. This is a top that I'm thinking about wearing cause you know, the hair is red, but it's also giving a, oh, baby, that is orange right next to the orange. So I think this is gonna go really cute. So we're gonna wear this. Um, I'm thinking these shorts with my shattered black board once so uh, let's go put on a fit and i'm gonna come back i got on my fit this is what it looks like and then i'm gonna wear my shattered black black board once i might put some leggings under like some black leggings like these black like painting hole leggings that i have under my shorts just to give them like a spicier look for like the club and just to like upgrade the fit a little bit but lashes done hair done outfit check we just gotta add the black leggings to just possess the fit a little bit and right now i am putting on my lip which i don't think it matters because i'm gonna have to put it back on after this i'm most likely going to get an uber to get out of here but i'm about to line my lips so 
So basically, y'all let me, like, help me decide. Should I adopt another cat? Like, do you think that would be good for Cleo? For her to have somebody to bond with? I, I'm always home. So don't think it's because, like, oh, I'm not home. I'm always home. But I just, like, feel like she needs somebody to play with. So I was kind of, like, thinking about getting another cat. Just so she's not so lonely. And she has, like, a sibling. So she's not, like, the only child. And I feel like it'd just be interesting to have two cats, to be honest. But then again, y'all let me know. Do you think it'd be good for Cleo to have like a little sibling or whatever? But this is what my lip is looking like so far. I love lining my lips much better with a, I think this is like a, yeah, this is like a, it's an eye and eyebrow pencil. These line your lips way better than those like actual um, lip liners. I just feel like I have more control when I use these, to be honest with you. And then for my lip, I am using the NYX Butter Gloss. I'm just gonna put these on my lips. Like that. I'm kind of just going. Blend it out a little bit. Oh, it's giving grown as sexy for sure. And then I'm going in with this regular lip gloss from the beauty supply store. All right, boom. My lip is all done. This is actually it's good in the lighting. Yeah, I think it looks good. All right, but hopefully my outfit is like club attire because nobody really spoke on what the dress code was be gonna be period i feel like some black shorts would go much better i don't know we're gonna put on these black tights and see what they're giving i just thought of another outfit i might potentially want to wear but then again i want to shake ass like for me i want to be able to do that in the club so i think i'll just keep this on now i think it too much let me get those tights hold on so these are the little tights i was talking about they're like fishnets i'll put these on i'm gonna be back all right so i added the tights let me know what you guys think bro this is not doing it justice i think i gotta stand like all the way back Not me doing hips to the, okay, it started again. <laughs> Let me just show y'all in the mirror because this is not doing it justice out there. So, these, it would the feet top back and then my shattered black boards are gonna go on, period. The fishnets definitely gave it like more grown and sexy type of vibe. So the time is currently, Cleo's right there eating. Let's spread her, cause I'm about to go out. It's 9.32 right now. So the only thing left for me to do is upload a video before I leave. And, oh, bitch. Well, I almost forgot to put on my new perfume. The fuck? Let me show y'all my new perfumes that I got from Dossier. So. I just got these in the mail today. They're from Dossier. Y'all know I stay showing out Dossier perfumes. This month in, I got Floral Grapefruit and it's supposed to be inspired by Chanel. So I'm gonna spray this so I can smell it. Mmm, that one smells really good. Yeah, and their perfume is just long lasting quality. Like literally I get so many compliments when I wear my perfumes from Dossier. People are always like, oh my God, like what are you wearing? You smell so good. And not to mention the perfume scent literally lasts all day. And even sometimes when I wash my clothes, the perfume scent is still on there. This is with their box. This is what it looks like. It says iconic scents, designer qualities, no markups. It's actually very affordable. So if you don't feel like spending like $100 on perfumes and you don't know much, nothing much about buying like designer perfumes, I say definitely check out Dossier. They have some of the best scents. There's never been a time they sent me a scent and I'm like, this just thing. Like all their scents smell good. This one, I think I had this one before. This is inspired by YSL, the black opium. 
and it's called Amberry Vanilla. This is actually one of my favorite scents from Dossier that I actually got it twice. This is my second time having this scent because it just smells so good and it's so strong. Like, I'm literally about to bathe in this shit. Mmm! Mmm! It smells so good. So make sure you guys go ahead and check out this here. I'm going to have all their links down below in the description box. Of course, as always, make sure you check in that description box. And you guys should find a code down there for some money off. So definitely go check out this here. Let them know that Chanel sent you. And baby, don't say I didn't put you on. I'm telling you, when I go outside everywhere I go, people are like, what are you wearing? Baby, I'm wearing perfume from Dossier. So make sure you guys go check them out. So those are my new fragrances. And I just sprayed myself, so I put on deodorant, I showered, I did my hair, got my lashes done, picked out a fit for the club, picked my fragrances, and now all I gotta do is put on my shoes and get ready to head out the door, and I'm about to do that. All right, let me re-upload this video because you two want to play with me, y'all. If y'all haven't seen this video by the time this video goes up, this one should be out already, but I'm just showing y'all how I upload or whatever. But I did this vlog with Juan. Should be like already up to be honest. I'm just trying to re-upload it because YouTube is literally playing with me and the video has been yellow marked. I was supposed to upload it originally today, but they decided to yellow mark my video. So that didn't end up happening. So right now, this is kind of like the steps I go through to upload videos, monetization. On. Make sure you guys watch ads. <laughs> um, inappropriate language, abbreviated, adult content. There's no sexual content in here. So Juan told me to just go ahead and click that and submit my rating. Next, visibility, put it unlisted. Boom. All right, so it's 9.38. It's 9.38 right now, if you guys can see that. I just sent Kiana. I just Instacarted Kiana some flowers and balloons for her birthday because her birthday is at 12 a.m. Happy birthday to my bitch, period. I'm gonna tell her that they gotta be on the way. Period, so this is what I'm looking like for tonight. I went ahead and put on my shoes, but make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you guys comment down below. I never got to show you guys the stuff in my business. I didn't forget. I'm definitely gonna do it tomorrow morning when I wake up. Um, I'm gonna continue this vlog, so. I really don't think I'm gonna bring this big ass camera outside to the club. So this is me going to the club now. This is me with no shots. And let's see what I look like tomorrow morning. Hopefully I'm still looking like some fire and shit. All right, so quick little update because I was getting ready to go. And good thing I didn't tell my friend to order the Uber because tell me why I ordered her balloon to the house. And I also her flower, I ordered her flowers to the house as well. But I guess it makes sense so I can actually physically give them to her. Because I was originally just ordering them to her apartment. But I was like finna go see her anyway. So I guess it just makes sense. But so freaking cute. Look at them guys. Look at them, they're so pretty. Like, gifting a girl flowers, like, like, it's not that hard, babes. Like, guys, this is what girls like. Give, yeah, feel me? It's not that fucking hard. You know, still ass smile. But these are so cute. Oh my god, I can't wait to give them to her. And then this is her balloon. It says happy birthday, and it has like a little stand, so it's able to stand. And it doesn't just fly away. But this is super cute. I'm currently waiting on my Uber right now. Seven minutes away, okay? So I'm gonna charge my phone for these seven minutes because my phone is on 14% and it's live, baby. I'm going to the club with my phone on 14. Well, I'm not going to the club right now. What we're actually about to do is go take Kiana's pictures and all that type of stuff. But like I said, I'm probably not gonna bring you guys along for that. Why are you being nosy? It's not for you. Say hi, buddy. When it's your birthday, you're gonna get spoiled too, mama. When it's your birthday, you're gonna get spoiled too, I promise. Okay? I'm gonna miss you for you. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna get back to you guys tomorrow. For real, for real this time. It is currently, I gotta see what time it is. It is 5.30 in the afternoon. It is Kiana's birthday. We celebrated last night and it was definitely 
a good motherfucking time. We had a great time. Everybody have fun. But, you know, it was a long night for sure. I'll tell you that much. It definitely was a long night. I'm literally just getting. I done spent 20, damn near 24 hours out that damn house. I'm so tired. It's her birthday. I don't know if we're gonna go to brunch still or not. I'm just waiting for her to let me know. But I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm so tired. I'm about to sit here and chill for a little, probably eat. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do after that yet. But I'm gonna get back to you guys, keep you guys updated. I was supposed to go show you guys the business stuff. You just gotta keep watching, too.